Hey Rocky, my name's Tony. I'm right out here in Sarasota. I reached out to you guys a couple days ago and spoke to Davian and mentioned I wanted to send you guys over this uh, this video. He mentioned you would probably be the one that uh, would be interested in watching. So what I want to do is go over three tips to help you increase your presence online in a way that will actually help generate you some additional business via your website. I know a lot of you guys are super busy right now as it is, but that may change at some point. Maybe you're looking to grow. Maybe you want to get away from paid ads on other services, whatever it may be. Um, I figure uh, at some point this, this information could become relevant for you. So I do this for free for small businesses and small business owners. The only thing I ask is if you guys find value in it, just uh, reply to the email, shoot me back any feedback you might have. I would love that. So with that, what I want to do is go over three things, content, citations, and backlinks. Content are just the words and images here on your homepage. We suggest 2,000 words of content. Google really values well-written, authoritative content. It's the way that it can ensure that it's giving its end users the best possible experience. So um, that's one of the two reasons. The second reason I'll talk about in a second. I'm going to copy what you guys have here. It looks like you have a total of 425 words right now on your homepage. So you could definitely use some more content. Um, the second reason content is important is Keywords like this, Plumbers Gainesville, Florida, this is searched, I think, 150 times in Gainesville a month. Um, when you have more content on your website, it makes it easier to get those kind of keywords in to your content. So here's, you essentially have it right here. That's good. That's one example. But there's way more than just, just that keyword out there. Um, so after searching that, the first first company that comes up, comes up is Sunshine. I'm going to use them as a comparison and just grabbing the content on their site and you're outdoing them by a little bit here so that's awesome they do not have a lot going on so that means they'll be easy to beat if you were to even get to 1500 words and get some of those additional keywords i'm mentioning into your content you're gonna you're really gonna outdo them so after doing this search at the top you're going to get the google paid ads um you know those are good if you need some quick uh traffic but I don't want to talk about paid ads right now. I want to go into organic traffic. Below here is called the map pack. This is ultimately important for companies like yourselves. About 50% of the search volume in Google, on Google that generates a map pack will call one of these uh, top three. So how do you get here? That's going to be ranking factor number two. Those are called citations. That's just your company name, address, and phone number out on directory sites around the web. These are sites like Yellow Pages, White Pages, Yelp, uh, Thumbtack, uh, Angie's List, um, even Facebook. So if you can get your company added to about 10 to 20 of those per week, over time you're going to see your Google My Business listing actually rise in the, in the rankings here. One thing to keep in mind is you got to be really consistent with how you input the data across these directories. Consistency is key. The area below, this is called the organic listings. Um, this is more affected by content, I'm sorry, backlinks, which is ranking factor number three. Backlinks are just your website URL in a clickable format out on another website. Not all backlinks are created equal. Just because you happen to have a thousand and somebody else has a hundred does not mean your thousand is beating their hundred. It's not how it works. Um, you want to make sure you get backlinks from trusted websites and you want to make sure, or if at all possible, get them from sites that are in your uh, in the same niche or around the same niche as you. So another plumber website, maybe you have a sister site out there somewhere, a sister company with a website or say a home improvement website or type, magazine type website um, that has a blog. Oftentimes you can provide them content for their blog and they'll give you a link back to your site um, for keeping helping them keep their blog active. So that's one idea. So since these guys were number one in the organic search results, oh, I already have them up. Um, let me just refresh this. We're going to look at them. This tool gives us an estimation of what Google knows about a website um, and gives us some key stats. So this 153 is essentially the backlinks. So this URL is in a clickable format on, on 153 websites. They are getting found for 1,700 keywords. That's getting them 418 clicks. So if we look at their keywords, this is ranked by traffic. Um, I'm not worried about these. That's their company names. They're so call. I want to focus on Gainesville for right now. So here's the one that I have searched. 150 searches. This shows them in position two, but they've actually moved up to position one since the 26th of July when this was last run. So this will get them about a third of the searches in position one, which will be 50. 
Um, and then there's other Gainesville related keywords. Um, this is in position one, they're getting 10 for this one and so on and so forth. So you can see these numbers down here. Um, so say, say they are getting, let's say they're getting 300 and not 400 traffic and closing 10% of that is new business. That would give them 30 new clients a month, free and clear, uh, not paid ads. So I take that all day long. What we're going to do now is bring you guys up here and you're out on 19 websites getting found for 70 keywords and that's getting you 27 clicks a month so let's look at the keywords here title town plumbing so that's cool um i don't know if there's well we'll see what my point with this is if somebody's searching for you that they're, they're just looking for your phone number most likely anyway um so that's not going to get you any new traffic these are the kind of keywords that will get you new traffic. So if somebody's searching plumbing Gainesville, Florida, they don't know which plumber they want to work with. They're likely going to call one of the top three, if not all of the top three. So being in position one through three is super important. So you're, on, you're getting found for this, but you're on page two. Plumbers, here's the one I've searched. You're on page two. So on and so forth. So these keywords you're being found for, that's awesome. But your backlink profile is not strong enough to get you to the top. So hopefully that makes sense. That's all I've got for you right now. I don't want to drag this video on too long. Again, if this information was valuable to you, um, shoot a reply. Let me know what your thoughts. Um, obviously, this is what I do for a living. So if the tools I've given you here aren't something you want to use yourself, I'm more than happy to discuss if I can be of uh, service to you guys. And uh, yeah, hope to hear from you. And thank you for watching. I will let you go. Have a great one.